What's going on guys? Red and Black TV here on some transfer news which has come out these last few days. Hadn't done it straight away as soon, like on the day it's been announced because I had a feeling that we were going to make a few signs just before the actual opening of the transfer window and it has has actually happened. So the first of the two transfers, as you may tell by the title, also this is the brand new shirt. We will have a more in-depth review of it, but it's a very nice shirt. I've got to give, give Bournemouth that. Look, looks much better in real, like, when you get it and have a look at it. Then the actual photos, it looks too too edited, to be honest, and really put me off. But I always get the home kit, so. And a lot of changes, so we'll talk about that in a later video later on today. But the one thing what we want to talk about is the two new signings. So the first one is Jermaine Defoe on a free transfer. It, this one was a one which was taking a long time to go through. There was a lot of controversy whether Bournemouth were willing to pay the signing on fees of around eight million for a bonus signing on fee, just because it was going to be a free transfer. And it's a three year deal, which is the one negative and the con that I take from this deal. I think three years is probably a bit too much. Jermaine Defoe already at 34 years of age, maybe could be a very, very bad mistake for Bournemouth. I think the first year will be very good. I feel like he will put in a lot of goals. Second year, maybe still carrying on, but dropping off. He did was a bit of a lack of scoring form at the end of last season. And third season, I feel like it's just going to be a little bit of a waste then. Uh, that's only a personal preference and a prediction, but we all have our own views. But Jermaine Defoe, absolutely incredible signing. I was over the moon when we found out he signed. But even better... On the next day, who saw this coming? Nathan Ake in the morning. It was a very, very um, weird way to announce Nathan Ake joining. It was a picture of his hair, and you just knew it was him to start off with. As soon as you see his hair, you're just like, oh my gosh, Nathan Ake has signed in the team. £20 million, absolutely huge fee for Nathan Ake, 22 years old, old and... I think 20 million is maybe a bit steep. A lot of people have said that, but in the future, he could become a very, very good centre back for any team in the Premier League or in uh, any other league. And I feel like we will be able to make quite a bit of money off him in the future. Not like 60 million sale, but I've st I I have hope because Nathan Ake was a key player um, in our season. When he started his his goal scoring form and like his amazing form of form at Stoke City, but after getting recalled, it's just he will slot straight into the first team. Same with Jermaine Defoe, both of them are going to be key assets, and I've got to give it to Bournemouth. Still, three massive transfers before the actual transfer window opened. Incredible domestic transfer window really paying off for us. Will we make any more signings? I don't know. I think if it was, it would be youngsters more than anything. Maybe a winger. We always sign with new wingers. But yeah, what do you guys think? Put down in the comments down below. Nathan Ake for 20 million. Jermaine Defoe on a free transfer. Absolutely incredible. But I've been Matt from Red Black TV. Hopefully we'll have some more transfers coming out these next few days. Um, yeah, so I've been Matt. I'm out.